Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be learning the causes and the solutions to muddy colors. Make sure you watch till the end because I have got an exercise to do which will help you know colors better. So without further more delay, let's get into the video. Now basically we have three primary colors, yellow, blue and red. I presume everybody knows about it. When we mix all the colors together, it forms black because they mutualize each other. However, when these colors are mixed with each other or one another, they create secondary colors. So what usually happens is that while mixing colors, we tend to get a muddy color. Now again, I have taken yellow, blue and red but of different shades. Do you see the difference in the results? This variation happens due to the fact that there are cool tones and warm tones in colors, which we will talk about in a bit. If you haven't already watched this video then the link is in the description box below or you can also click on the i button above. One of the reasons why colors form mud is using complementary colors. In case you don't know what complementary colors are then they are the colors opposite to each other on the color wheel. Just have a look at these examples where I have used complementary colors but while mixing them they create grayish sort of a color. It's not that complementary colors are only bad. Complementary colors are excellent for creating shadows. It's not necessary that only complementary colors create mud but colors adjacent to it also creates. For example, red and blue can also create mud if their undertone does not match. They look vibrant and intense individually. When you look at a yellow color, ask yourself whether you see more of green color or you see more of orange to it. If you find more of green, it means it's a cool yellow and if you see more of orange, then it's a warm yellow. Only if you use cool colors with the cool tones, you will get the desired color and the same goes with the warm colors. Now we'll create a color wheel using same undertones and the different ones. We will start by using a cool yellow along with a cool blue and the secondary color so formed is a clean green. Now coming on to this wheel, we will be using a warm yellow along with a cool blue. What do we find here is, a green color has been formed but it's not a vibrant one and is on the grayish side. Now we will be using a warm red with a warm yellow and the end result is a vibrant orange.
but here's an exception that even if you use a cool red and a cool warm yellow or vice versa you'll still find a shade of orange Here I'm using a cool red along with a cool blue. The outcome is a beautiful shade of violet. While on the other hand when I use a cool blue with a warm red, there is an awful color formed. Watercolors, as the name suggests, have the tendency to get activated when in contact with water. So make sure you clean your palette before using it. Little things create big differences and that's why I emphasize you to use watercolor sheet which is 100% cotton instead of using normal wood paper. Try using two jars instead of one for washing your brushes. Also another small thing use a swatch card while painting so before directly using a brush on your painting swatch it on a paper Also have a look at these paintings you will find that i've used complementary colors like red and green and similar colors but still they didn't create mud that's just because i've used them wet on dry Now i've got an exercise for you create a chart color chart Start by creating a grid and mark down all the primary colors whether they are cool or warm that is red yellow and blue All the details are mentioned in the description bar below so make sure you check that out too If you remember how math teacher used to teach us multiplying monomial into binomial or trinomial or whatever it was we will be mixing the colors in a similar manner video if you're new to this channel please consider subscribing do like share comment and let me know what you would like to see next on my channel